personal. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. This workout is good for their feet because when you step, you sink. So it's a little bit more tiring and it, and it, and it increases mobility and cardio. And rhythm too, right? Rhythm, all of those things, yeah. very important. And, and this will improve. Thank you. Every once in a while I try and clinch him a few times because that clinch he takes a little bit out of you. So get him used to it. Keep him, keep him thinking yeah, on keep his toes. Thinking. Yeah, the clinching is hard. Clinching, clinching on this, but he doesn't let me clinch it sometimes. He happens to sneak away before I get him, which is good. Because when a fighter's looking to clinch, it means he's in trouble. So the other fighter's gotta be able to escape that clinch. Because clinching is usually reserved to, to gas up or to save, save oneself from further punishment. But if you can stop the other fighter from clinching to gas up or to save himself, you got him in trouble. I guess, I guess that's where you get all that, uh, all those punches in the later rounds, right, Pascal? Huh? All those punches in the later rounds, you get them yeah. with drills like that. Exactly. It's like an obstacle course. He's going back to back. What? You're going back to back. It's like an yeah. obstacle course. You know, if I had to do it like that, where it's like an obstacle course, like I mean, yeah, yeah, I call it, I call it circuit training, yeah, boxing circuit training. Well, I've done it before, yeah, I did it. One, you know, when no, I went, it's very good. When very I went good. to the uh, jungle gym, yeah, but even even as we do this, there's a certain skill level, um, things that we put into practice that pertain to the reality of fighting. This this challenges every every apparatus that we have here challenges a different set of skills. Whether it's something that's moving a lot, something that's heavy, you got to work hard at it. And also when he changes from one apparatus to the other, he's having to refocus, readjust his skills and his skill level and meet the challenges of a new set of bags over here that we have. 
So it's like almost like every every bag is like a different opponent. I, I like I, I, yeah, every bag is a different opponent, but I like it because it keeps them awake and keeps them sharp. This way they stay awake and they stay sharp. They like in a fight you gotta stimulate stimulate his mind in order to get the body to follow. And this is something that they, they look forward to. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.